on my he injected NATO and he got AIDS. <laughs> she got the entire Glen Orchi behind us. That's a dirty needle right there. This is like more wild than Mount Druid and Frankston combined. Bro, we have to get out of here. And if you could, uh, you know, send a message to your younger self right now, what would you say? Don't get on ice. Don't sell all your stuff. Do you think Tasmania is a dangerous place? Yes. In the past few years, it has been quite a dangerous place in specific suburbs that you don't want to walk around in the night. Really? Like where? Bridgewater, Gagebrook, Rockby. Even the public buses don't go to a certain area. There's pelted stones on the public buses in the Gagebrook area. The buses have been put out for some time. So do you think if the, if the viewers come to Tasmania, they should be careful? They should really be careful and uh, try to avoid a lot of areas. And have you seen any dangerous crime in Tasmania? The young ones are getting a bit yeah. too much, man. Just running wild, man. Running amok. Any like and stuff here? Yeah. yeah. Whereabouts? Glenorchy. Yeah. For little Eshays, yeah. So there's the whole Eshays getting up to no good kind of thing that's been very popular in there. You think Tasmania has a youth crime problem? I think it does. The young teenagers um, doing bits and pieces, bombing on cars and going to the back of stores and ripping out storerooms and yeah, the security are doing every day. I think there's been a few stuff lately. Alright boys, what's up? Oh, not much, how are you? Not much, not much. You guys are getting up to some mischief today or what? I don't know. What'd you say again? What'd you say, brother? Chill, chill. <laughs> we want to know today, do you think Tasmania is a dangerous place? Currently there's this girl, like a mum, bit up this 16 year old. That's crazy, you know? So like, there's this one suburb. I heard there's like a lot of crimes going on, like st um, robbing people. What's the suburb? Glenorchy. What do you think has caused all the crime in Tasmania? All those little ash eyes. Definitely the ash eyes. Not so long ago, there was a that, that is caused by an ash eye. Do you guys ever feel like, you know, unsafe in Hobart? Sometimes when I'm by myself. I kept hearing people talk about Glenorgy being the most dangerous area in Tasmania. So naturally, I decided to head there. But on our way, we ran into these very suspicious kids. All right, there's this guy over there's been really dodgy. I don't know, let's just film them, see what they do. Apparently that bridge down there is like super, super weird. <laughs> just so whack. <laughs> I was told about this place before. What are you guys up to? In the river you let? Yeah. What does that mean? In the river? It's in here. Huh? It's in here. What is that? Like a sewage pipe or something? We just arrived in Hobart about, what, two days ago? We met some guys saying that like down here there's like a really weird, suspicious place where there's heaps of and, and whatnot. Yeah, should we come? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so dodgy, bro. This is actually so dodgy. Like this one kid on our first night said, oh, come to this like fence behind the men's gallery, which is a strip club, by the way. And then if you jump over, there's a river with all these I don't know if I want to go down there, but... <laughs> oh shit. Are you wearing thick shoes? Yeah. We could get AIDS right now. You understand? I already have AIDS. You already have AIDS, so do I. Oh bro, this is so whack. Whew. I think that's disinfecting and shit, and then there's some disinfectant wipes over here. Yeah. And there's a lighter as well where they could have been cooking up the heroin or something. There's some big tunnels down here that go all the way down to the wharf. To the wharf? Yeah. We are, we are not involved with this activity guys, we're from Sydney, we're innocent tourists. We just found ourselves in a Tasmanian tunnel for some reason that happens to be beneath a strip club. Don't know why. Can you just confirm to the viewers that we're not doing any illegal activity out here? This is not illegal at all. This is uh, legal. Is Tasmania actually that dangerous? Yeah man, you see people getting s***ed all the time out here. Where are we right now? What are you guys doing today? Uh, a little bit of f***ing graph in the rivulet. Might go st some down there if I find him. What's like the craziest thing you've seen in this area? I saw a junkie piping up. Yeah, he ran away straight away when we came down here. What's in the water, do you think? I would not go near that. That is disgusting. But um, yeah, who knows? People put a bunch of random shit in there. Do you reckon a few of the junkies around here have AIDS? My mate, he came down here and he injected and fucked one from on the ground and he got AIDS. He was desperate. He needed a needle and he fucking used one off the ground. And he got AIDS? Yeah. Huh? You found something? Oh no, what'd you find? Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? No way. What do you reckon was in that? You reckon it's brown. It's still wet. Nah, bro, that's whack. Bro. It's crazy. Look. Oh, is that? That's a needle. That's a. Oh, be careful, be careful. What the hell is that? Oh, no, nah, that's a dirty man. That's a dirty. Right there. Bro. <laughs> I wanted to get out of this place before I ended up stepping on a needle myself. So we headed to Glen Orgy and wait till you see what I saw. Alright guys, we've just arrived in a place called Glen Orkey in Hobart, Tasmania. Apparently this is the place where a lot of people 
<laughs> a lot of people. Um, sorry, these guys are distracting me. Apparently, this is a place where there's a high crime rate. Um, we're going to go interview some locals, um, find out their story, see how they got to the place that they're in right now. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, guys, I've got Jeremy and Damien with me today. You guys are going to be my tour guide in Glen Orkey. How's that sound? Yeah, good. Like, do you think there's a high crime rate here? In this part of Hobart, yeah. It's all petty shit crime, but, but yeah. you know what I mean? There's no, there's no like, there's a couple of clubbies around, but they're just easy bro, anyway, you know what I mean? Behind us, we've got some Eshays rocking up, I think. Yeah, wow, they're all wearing TNs. Hey, hey, line up, line up. Line up. <laughs> right, no, no, no crap, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'd be nice if you respectful to him. Yeah, yep. please, 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 yeah. What do, you, what do you guys do every day here? Oh, fuck, run them out. Stop chases, all the time, all the time. Uh, just live it up Stop to chases. the fullest. What's Tazzy really like? We're from oh. Sydney. Yeah, Who's the most ruthless out of all you guys? Hey, this hey. guy here, all right. What do you think makes you the most ruthless out of all the Eshays here? Because look at me, bro. Look at me compared to those, He's bro. A pussy. Yeah. No, this boy, he keeps up with me, this boy. Yeah, he don't keep up with me. I mean, have you guys seen any, like, crazy crime in Tasmania? People get hit, everything. I've, I've seen my cousin being stabbed right here. Yeah, over what? Me. Over, over you? Yeah. What'd you do? Junkie chased me and he came down, okay, copped okay. one in the back. And uh, how old are you guys? How old are you? 13. Are you guys Eshays or what? Classy Eshay. And what yeah. do you guys want to be when you grow up? Druggy. Anything, Anything that makes big all money. That's what makes me apes of money. We're porn star. <laughs> porn star probably. So, dealer porn star, what'd you say? Oh, dealer maybe, yeah. Okay. No, see, these are all no hopers, bro. You need to get your, you need to get your money up. Obviously, you know, we, we've spoken about some funny stuff right now, but I want to know, like, do you guys feel like, you know, the youth of Tasmania, or especially in this area, are disadvantaged of some yeah. sort? Or? Uh, all of us boys, and we just kick it in here with the girls and that, and, yeah. yeah. With the girls get and that. What a fucking dickhead, dickhead, bro. Don't need to get the girls. We ain't about the boys, lad. When you get the gas, you get the cash. To all you guys up here, do you reckon, like, most of you guys have had, like, tough upbringings? Yeah, a couple of us have. But the rest of them, look, these flops. Nah. <laughs> After all the jokes were over with these wannabe Eshes, we met a girl who ended up sharing her story. So tell us about your upbringing. At a really young age, my mum and my dad were really abusive to me and my sister. Um, my mum was a crackhead for probably 13 years of my life. I got kicked out of home when we were really young. Nearly got put into welfare a couple of times. Got a couple of siblings in welfare as well, so Tasmania's just shit. Do you feel like you guys have uh, much hope in Tasmania or you feel like... There's no future pretty down here, pretty much. All of a sudden, as we were hearing this girl's story, we were interrupted by a loud noise. I didn't, I wasn't involved in that by the way, that just happened. Didn't happen. This is like more wild than Mount Druid and Frankston combined. Yeah, it's, it's fucking getting that way. That's, that's why I brought his out especially, here. Especially with what happens to you in your face. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. We don't see this every day, do we? No. Alright guys, we've got a bail right now. The cops are coming apparently. That guy just like ran across three cars and he caused like a dent in, I think, two of them. So the cops are coming right now. We don't want to be involved because we weren't, you know, we don't know those kids, obviously. <sighs> Bro. I have no, I did not expect anything like that. I'll tell you what. I said to come out here to the bus, my I didn't, <laughs> didn't expect. After spending the day with Jeremy and Damo, I was curious to hear about their upbringing and how they ended up in the life they're living today. All right, man. What's your name? Uh, my name's Jeremy. And what happened to your face? Uh, Friday night I got arrested, um, apparently I assaulted a police officer, um, so I was put in the cells and uh, I was heavily intoxicated, thought it was a good idea to start bashing my head against the wall. And were you by yourself in the cell? Yeah, by myself, I got stripped naked, I was left in the cell with nothing, so in protest I started smashing my head against the wall. Tell us a little bit about your life. I had a pretty good upbringing, but then I started smoking heavily in high school. And then uh, left high school, become a mechanic, started drinking a fair bit, and ended up being an alcoholic, you know, drinking on my lunch breaks, drinking after work. Ended up turning to heavy to become a, you know, ice user. Ended up on the streets of Hobart. And if you could, uh, you know, send a message to your younger self right now, what would you say? <laughs> Don't put that needle in your arm. Don't put that needle in your arm. Um... <laughs> Don't don't get don't get on ice. Don't sell all your stuff, Jeremy. You know, wake up to yourself. Um, stay, stay. Do better at school. I wish I could go back to school. You know, 
if I went back to my younger self, I'd say work, study harder at school, and don't you know st stop around and then making life hard in the future for you. The younger Jeremy, just um, <laughs> listen to your listen to listen to your father, listen to the advice that he gave you, which was stay away from hard. And what do you think moving forward, man? Like, what's what's the plan? What are you going to do? I plan to move to Burnie because I've got a, a seven-year-old son that lives up there. Really well. And I haven't seen him since he was one. So um, that's a relationship that uh, that I really want to establish, yep. establish because he doesn't know me, yep. and I don't really know him. And that's my main goal, and that's what's kept me alive. Um, yeah. And uh, do you think you'd be proud of his dad? Not right now, I know. But if I cleaned myself up and showed him that, you know, I'm a good, good person. It was clear that Jeremy still had a long way to go, but I was shocked to hear about Damo's radical transformation in his own life. All right, bro, why don't you share a bit of your story to the viewers? Well, um, ex-criminal, ex addict, living a hopeless life, depressed as hell, and um, yeah, I come, moved down here to start a new life. I'm doing drug and alcohol counsellors course now, working with troubled children, went back to church, and been re-baptised recently. Yeah, and um, turned my life around completely. I've got a positive outtake on life now. Like, I feel better, I'm not depressed, and yeah, just 100% changed, and I would honestly love to try and help other people to become changed and to become involved in church more, you know what I mean, and to convert them to the Christianity, which is, you know what I mean? Um, the way. And how do you think Tasmania compares to other states in terms of crime and, and that sort of thing? I grew up in Sydney. There is no real crime down here. You got a bit of shoplifting and stealing and that, you know what I mean? But there's no crime, dude. And uh, what made you move to Tasmania? A start, it's a new start. I uh, don't know anyone down here. It's quiet and to become closer to God. And I just needed a new start, quiet place. It's beautiful. Yeah, you can see the women are beautiful. That's a, that's a grandma, bro, but uh, anyway. Yeah, well, got to start somewhere. <laughs> As you've seen before, the, uh, at the taxi rank, it can get a bit fun, but that's about all it is. Well, they are the next generation of criminals unless someone intervenes and st steps in and uh, tries to guide them into the right place. Yeah. And that's what I want to do, bro.